Sherman wants me to say it like this every time, so here we go. <laughs> Welcome to the ULI Podcast, the podcast dedicated to calling out some friends bullshit. I'm Brian. It's Chris. Morning. The favorite pothead, Sir D's, aka Sherman. Mm. In rotation, boy. <laughs> and just like any other episode, we back again, each with our own topics, mm. each ready to kick that shit, and each ready to get called out if need be. Same penalties. We got the 20 push. Let's go back, back up to 20. Y'all was hit them 15 to leave. We'll go mm. back up to 20. 20 push ups. Yeah. 20 push ups was perfect. And we get a shot. <laughs> we got the shot. 20 push ups was perfect. Huh? Uh, it hurt. Yeah. Bam, bam. It hurt. That was the point. Ready for the get down. 20 push ups was for the nigga who did 18. Yeah, you did do 18. I did 20. You did 18. No, <laughs> you know what? Well, I wish we had video. Because we would make this official, right now it would be a U. And we got audio. Okay, there's no way to prove it. I ain't even going to call it out. I remember. No. <laughs> I wouldn't would trust you. You're right. There's no proof, and I'm not leaving it to a vote. Because everybody will have to leave it right now. I can two out. No. I'll leave it to a vote, y'all. And of course, y'all we got the, uh, the cash app, too. Oh, $10 that's true. To the cash if app. it gets that serious, yeah, there will be a $10 cash app. Today's going to be a, a, a tense topic today. We got we got, a, we got an episode in stuff. But I'm going to kick it off since I'm already going. We got the NFL in full effect bringing in Cam Newton to the Patriots. What y'all think about that? Um, I got the feeling from you that Cam Newton ain't worth shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do think Whoa. Cam is on, on the downward slope. Mm-hmm. So, but even on his worst days, he he deserved a little more credit than that. Why? Dang. He he had some pretty terrible games in the last few uh, seasons with Carolina after going to the Super Bowl. Oh well, see, I haven't I haven't been watching the last few seasons. He's been hurt though. though. Has he been hurt? He's been hurt. Ain't you his football? He he been hurt. He he been out there out, out, out for a whole year, man. So you think you think full strength Cam Newton? With the Patriots, it's gonna make some noise. Full so, Belichick, Belichick, that defense is still that defense. So what are the like it, the particulars it, of the contract? Because uh, there was some. Oh, this of, this is the bare minimum. Yeah, okay. he, get, yeah he, get, he got paid off. I thought that's what it was. A former NFL uh, MVP getting the bare minimum. A million dollars. Well, but if what you say is true and he's on a decline. Then that would be the way to keep him in something because the it, Patriots it is not like a sorry team that he would have to carry. And and uh, being in sports is brutal. Either if you're not successful, you ain't making no money. That's and, how it is. And this is and that was the only team they said showed interest. Besides, I think the Browns looked at him. But this is like the prototype. All the Deshaun Watson, Watsons, and Lamar Jacksons, and like he was the prototype for this. And, and he was like Superman. Superman. Kind of like throwing him to the yeah. wayside, low key. Yeah, but everybody, every, when you're in sports, it's all seasonal. You, it's your season to shine. And it might not be your season football, next time. <laughs> football, nigga, you suck next last week, nigga. You want you gonna be on bitch next week. I, I think I, I don't know. It's kind of I feel like they didn't want to not let him uh, be in the league this go around, especially yeah. with the Colin Kaepernick stuff. He still they probably felt ruined. like they was doing him a favor. They probably felt like yeah. they was doing him a favor. Which is well, because I know he got to be better than a lot of these backup quarterbacks that's yeah, out here with starting yeah. jobs. I would, I would think and that he multiple millions of dollars. I would bet that he does. He's up above that crop. He's uh, got to be. You know, he's just so a specimen alone. Like he give yeah. him the ball and let him run. He's gonna do better than a lot of these quarterbacks. Think, yeah, that's true. I think that he's paying the penalty for not living up to the hype. Yeah, which isn't fair because you know he did get you to the Super Bowl and like Maury said, when you get hurt, you get hurt. Mm-hmm. I mean, you like to think he like Kobe and can come back from the Achilles yeah. or like Adrian Peterson. Football is a different sport. Yeah, I mean, that's it's a, a nigga. Yeah, but dude, I, I got a question for you, Kristen, since you brought it up. Would you then, if you were, if you were Patriots, would mm-hmm. you rather bring Cam on or would you rather bring Cap on? I would definitely rather bring Cam on. Just because huh? he didn't play. I mean, he like you said, you missed a whole year, but I would still take him – being like part of football the last year, yeah, yeah. Captain, who's been removed since 2006. You were impressed by his uh training video? I was not, I was not, I didn't see I him doing nothing crazy. It. I haven't seen it. I'm sure more do that stuff What's on, on, on a Saturday, you know, <laughs> 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 like even doing nothing. <laughs> so nobody but I mean, as far as being in shape and stuff people. or being conditioned, you don't think I don't know. I, I seen like Alvin Kamara's workouts, like this dude, like they do some crazy ass workouts. Like, when right. I can post it up, seem real. Normal. You know? with, with Cam so Martin. you would take Cam Newton over Colin Kaepernick if you were the Patriots? 
Right now, yes, I would do what the Patriots did. I wouldn't have gave him that bare minimum. I would have showed him a little bit more respect than that. I think that's got me more hemmed up than anything. Than, he than deserved that. more respect than that. Like, that's like, you're going to give him crumbs? Like, crumbs? And, Which, and, and watch him win a Super Bowl. Well, who, who I was going to say, I will play like I'm being paid crumbs. Who would, who would you pick between uh, Kaepernick and, Barry Butter. and Cam Newton? Who would you pick? Because it sounded like he was leaning towards Kyle. For me? Yeah, you. I would pick Cap just to ruffle shit up. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you just playing that. Oh, There's no guarantee. Just that think about it. Good. It could go either way. Yeah, I, yeah. It could go either way. Cap yeah. could come back with something that he, feeling like he got something to prove. He give really us the most worse, awesome really, season. Really bring them niggas all the way. And if bad. not that much, you can still make some white people mad, and I would be okay with that. Yeah, I'm for. I'm for that. I'm, I'm even for <laughs> just the symbolic move of signing them. Let them stay on the bench, whatever. I don't even know if that's stuff you would want to do. I think that's what it would come back to. Moy, what would you do? You missed the football down there. Yeah, I'll go Cam Newton, bro. All day? You go Cam? Cap, I mean, yeah, Cap workouts is cool. But yeah, I mean, it look good, but nigga. From, yeah, yeah, from, from football <laughs> to your know, practice speed, bro, that's two, that's totally two different things, bro. He has been out for some years, too. You can look good on the workout. Shoot, anybody look good on the workout, ain't no, ain't no one over there trying to get you. Man, right? <laughs> it's it's so, different when you got the yeah, two of you on your back. Yeah, Cam is a more he, – he, he's he been in the league more recent. So I, I think Cam is, is a better decision than Do they Cam. have the weapons to make him successful? No. 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 Uh, I like Sonny Michelle, but other than – they got Sonny Michelle, right? I think that's what they got. Yeah, they got him. He's good. But that's all I can think of. Edelman's old. Yeah, he ain't got no receivers. He can't throw nobody. No receivers. They ain't draft nobody. Ain't, yeah, so I see them. They might win about six games this year. Who is they paying? If they only give them like, – who, who get the money and, and – that you know, owner? Plan. Belichick? Owner. Craft? Know that money. That's what he's doing. He be down there at them brothels breaking them bras off. <laughs> <laughs> that part. <laughs> That's where the rest of the contract goes to. Man, that don't make no sense, man. We got caught up in what, Florida? Come on, yeah, man. Yeah, it was Florida. It was, it was, it was, it was. Mm-hmm. Try to get a little winnie wet, man. Okay, I see you. <laughs> all right, man. I wasn't even mad at him, man. Spend your money how you want to. Hey, man, shoot. Nigga do it all the time. Whatever. You want to trick it off to these bras? Trick it off, bro. I ain't mad at you. You know, Cam going to be happy to at least be out there in the winter, you know, wearing all his uh, flamboyant furs and uh, <laughs> right at home, bro. <laughs> I can see Sherman doing that, too. You know, hey. Sherman wearing all that shit. Yeah, he probably got rabbit fur in his pocket right now. Who? That nigga's wearing snake skin right Me? now. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's wearing snake skin right now, bro. <laughs> you lie. No. <laughs> <laughs> Call me out there, bro. Call me out there, man. From both of y'all. <laughs> I'm sure you got some kind of animal something on you right now. You got Call something. me a lie. I'm, sh- I'm sure you do. Not right now, not today in particular. So yeah, no, uh, you lie. Is that both? You a lie today? Maybe not yesterday, but you a lie today. Yeah, I knew it. But you, that's really all I had on, on Cam. I'm happy he in the uh, back back plan. I wasn't sure a team was gonna sign him. So okay, my, Chris. Uh, so how many? Is, is that for real? Am I am I drinking for that? <laughs> Go ahead, man. Oh, he said, yeah. Oh, okay. You was wrong today. Whatever. I kick it up. I honored to give a memory with some petty shit popping off. It was <laughs> petty you lie. I call you a lie. Just know it's popping off like this. Hey, Chris, how many, day, how many games? I'm about to have a little fun. Hey, it's because I didn't drink none. Uh, what'd you say? How many games Patriots going to win? What'd you give them? Uh, They're going to lose when they play the Raiders. I know that. <laughs> 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 I second uh, that. Uh, they gonna probably, who's in that division? Buffalo probably going to win off the, the strength of having a solid unit and a solid defense and, you know, made some noise last year. No no real changes. They picked up Stephon, Stephon Diggs. Big pickup. Uh, who else is in that division? Uh, Dolphins. And trash. Jets. Hot trash. And who else? Easy win. The Dolphins. Oh, oh, yeah. So they, get, they, they could easily get into the playoffs with Cam. And the best to do what That's he what do. I'm saying. It's, he still can make it to nine, the nine, ten wins. That's what I'll give him. Nine to ten wins. Hmm. That's a lot of wins, brother. Yeah. I mean, they'll probably do better than the Niners. Yeah. 
Ooh, I don't know. That was a shot for all the Niner fans who may be watching. They ain't doing better than the Raiders. That's what I know. And they dance right. like that's the All right. Uh, who got the next one? Go ahead and kick that. Mine's may be a little more controversial today. Uh, so my topic is pedophiles aren't just old men touching up little kids. They also your boy who's 23 going out with a 16 year old. Mm-hmm. Elaborate, please. Thoughts. Oh, you want you want our thoughts? Yeah, I want y'all thoughts. I always thought it was weird. I I, I know you. you know. I won't quite say pedophile, but I say frowned upon almost it's, as badly. It's it's. <laughs> I, I like, give you the <laughs> argument when you're like 18 and your girl still in high school, and you know yeah. I'll give you that 23 and 16. You went back, and you went back, and you that the, yeah that person from that person's perspective, it should feel like you're more towards that yeah you that area. Yeah. It should you know feel I mean? like you messing with babies with you kids. You should feel like you're messing around with a child. You, you saw like girl, pedophilia. Your eyes, like you hot. I'm gonna keep my eye on you. That's more that's more creep. That's on the creep oh, creep hot. order to itself, but less. I don't know which thing more. Man, that's that's foul, man. She's not even 18 yet, bro. Yeah. She's not even 18, yeah. bro. It's foul, but you didn't call him a pedophile. Man, that's Is he a pedophile? Man, no. He's wrong word, man. Yeah. That's a strong word. You say the word pedophile, you thinking of something. What's the cutoff age like for pedophilia? Dude. You answer me that. You kinda in the same boat, bro. You kinda in the same in the same boat, man. All right, you kinda in the same boat. What's the cutoff age for pedophilia? There's, there's no cutoff age for pedophilia. But because there are pedophiles that are young. Yeah. Like, we'll go after children. I don't think that a pedophile is interested in going after a developed adult. So that's the difference. That I don't know. Would you call R. Kelly a pedophile? Hell yeah. Probably, yeah. Without how old he was. Hell yeah. And the, reason, not even and, and the reason that he was going after those girls. So but what like, would make him a pedophile and not the 23-year-old? Because a 23-year-old and a 16-year-old is a common occurrence, and there's a lot more reasons that a 23-year-old would end up with a 16-year-old. I wouldn't say a common occurrence. Eat more easier it's that not way. Not that not common. Fast, right. But you could probably connect the dots before you can connect the four-year-old the 20, R. R. Kelly. That, now, to, I would say that is the bad, terrible judgment on the, on the, the part of the 23-year-old. But that that person I would be more likely to believe to be in in a relationship and could have shared with a sixteen share. year old. A sixteen year old will, can be in a relationship as to where like in uh like when you think of a child like they don't even know what that shit is. So, yeah, but you just called R. Kelly a pedophile for the same age. I think because <laughs> R. Kelly was a predator. That's like but that's what I'm saying. What's what's what creates the difference then? Because R. Kelly didn't start off 40 years old messing with 16 year olds. He was in his 20s when he was messing with 15, 16 year olds. To me, it just sounds like he was he was actually a predator. Like that's somebody who eventually goes looking for a specific target, and that may not that may not always be the case. Like if you're like let's like let's bring up now i mean we would all judge this person like if you knew a 23 year old and they were dating a 16 year old and they'd be like oh you know this is my girlfriend and, and yeah, what? of course all of us would be like <laughs> Yo, all, all of us would be like you all the way wrong for that shit okay you need to bring that back that. to, to but, friend and but, ride this out too yeah, <laughs> yeah. i'm still trying to see that i'm still person, trying to see what makes that person not a pedophile but at the, the same time i think the difference is that that person doesn't view the 16 year old may not view the 16 year old as a child and is just thinking they're in a relationship with another person, which they, that, they, they so whose view is important? The right, that's the same <laughs> argument that pedophiles use against kids. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't think that's really, you can't call that a relationship because an actual child doesn't understand what that is and they can't be in one. Are but they're still the same the argument that way? they use. For a 16 year old? So you're saying a 16 year old doesn't know what a relationship is and can't be in one? Because they get into relationships with each other that kids can't relationships that little kids can't get into with each other. Brian, that's don't don't do don't don't do that. That's don't not what? we are talking about pedophilia. We are talking about yes. sexual attractiveness to under a to, to children. Yes, we are. Yes. So as an eighteen year old, if you're talking to a sixteen year old, that's believable. You niggas was in school together, most likely. 
But you're 23, 24, 25, and you're still shopping at high school. That means you're attractive to children. Because, huh? Say it again. Say it again. I said, if you're going to go to that extreme, then you got to take that extreme to an 18 year old. They're an adult. They shouldn't be allowed to mess with a 16 year old. No, that's not that's not the same thing. The law can't hit you like that, though. That's not the same thing because if you're 18, you're a senior in high school. Your girlfriend could be a sophomore. If you're 25 and your girlfriend is 16, all of a sudden, I guess ow. I guess you guys say adulthood is the magic number. So 18 is the adulthood. You shouldn't be fucking with anybody that young. 18, 18 and up. 18 and up. 18 that, and up. That's the safe way to play it. So if you're 17 and you turn 18 and your girlfriend's still younger than you, you got to You're her. a pedophile. That's what you got to say. We can't cookie cutter it like that. Yeah. That's, like, that's like, like, we can't cookie cutter it like that. That's like Tiger and uh, Kali. Oh, yeah. How, how you, old you, was Tiger when he was trying to get with Kali? Huh? You know, they, they dragged him through that, too. They did. How, how old was Tiger when he tried to get out of college? She was young as a motherfucker, too. He was, oh, uh, 15, right? Yeah, and this nigga, to, that nigga was being called a pedophile all over the internet. Yeah, exactly. he was. Exactly. And I, th I, I think it's justified. It sounds like Brian is extending that 18 credit that you give the 18 to 16 relationship. I think 23 is really young. Uh, 23 is young. It's, You're it's, still a child at 23. It's out of the league of 16. Like, that, they, they're not in the same league, and they shouldn't oh. be in, in a relationship. But you're not sharing them circles with a 16-year-old at 23. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. How, unless you're actively looking... That like it's not a common thing. It's not, it's going out not common way. for a twenty-three year old. That you to go to the prom at twenty-one. So, <laughs> like nigga, if I have young sisters, so if I'm at home with my boys and I'm in my twenties, and my little fifteen-year-old sister come out and my niggas is looking at her like you want you. to me, that's weird. That's it's you. Oh, that's, that's it's you should not be looking at my little. That's a that's a child. That's yeah, a yeah. Like nigga, I'm I can't I can't give R. Kelly that same judgment and then let my boy get by doing the I same know, shit. I know we, we really, R. Kelly didn't start off as a 40 year old man with 16 year old tendencies. But what about I hate to say it and I hope you know I hope but there is there's two sides to this. So you know when you talk about y'all you remember Mary Kay Letourneau? The old the teacher that like had this whole relationship with the 15 year old guy <laughs> was, like, she got pregnant yeah. and everything like back back in the day. Like, like yeah. we we would carry that with a badge of honor though. You know, it's like, man, I That's smash Miss So and So. So is it still pedophilia? And that is definitely still, still the same. No, it's, it's not, it's but okay, so good. We all agree that sex doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> the girls have that same kind of thing. Are they carrying that? Oh, I got me a, a 23, 25, uh, finna come pick me up in the in the Mustang Ford and go get some Taco Bell at lunch. So, I mean. I'm, yes, we're taking advantage both ways, aren't we? I'm viewing that the same way that I would view it in, in the other way around. It's the same scenario. It's really, uh, what's the word? It's really improper. What's the word I'm looking for? There's a more specific word. Very improper. <laughs> we're just going to go with improper. It is definitely indecent. It's, yeah. It's definitely yeah, but I, going back to Chris's point of trying safe. to, it, you know, for the, the, the cool points or for whatever that feels like to, to bag an older person or something, yeah. I, I can I can give them that argument on that side, but then at the, as the adult, you have to be able to push it, push that side and be like, oh, I'm not looking your way. You're like there's nothing you can do for me. You you your child, you know, type that of deal. That's the issue. If you, when when yeah, I'm in my twenties, when I was in my twenties, I was looking for you know older women. I was like, finally, yeah. I can date bitches in their thirties. And, <laughs> so, yeah. and, oh, they want me now. I don't think I was ever in the mindset that the woman needed to be younger than me or a certain age. I've never, I never even considered that, you know, I didn't know that was a thing for people when I, when I saw that people was like, there were people like that. I was like, hmm, mm -hmm. like, you don't need them all to be young and fresh. That just don't okay. sound wrong. Right. Like that don't they, sound right. They say you don't need a what? <laughs> They don't need to be young and fresh, like young and right. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Somebody that's hunting for but That's certain. the image, man. Like, even look at these models. Y'all see how skinny mm -hmm. these models is? No chest, no butts, looking like a 12-year-old. Looking like kids. Walking exactly. in the streets, like, and they fetishize. These are the, the beauty standards, right? Like, Arabic, like you remember the 90s, anorexia and all that, throwing up in the in the, uh, that, the, the toilet and shit? Like, people were looking for this look, and I think it's because the men in power like it. And, and that's because I was just going to say, that's to encourage and to, to coax that, the, and I'm, I'm, I may be controversial for saying this, but I think that it's an inherently white thing to look at children the way they look at children. Because, and I say this because, in all of our laws and rules set in America, 
it can still be illegal for you to have sex with somebody under 18 as a person older 18. But in like 33 of our countries, it is legal to marry somebody 15 and younger. Mm -hmm. So you can marry these kids in our in our country. You can marry them, but if you have sex with them at that age, you can go to jail. Yeah, huh? I'm talking about America. 33 states. Here in America. 33 states, you can get married to someone under. Me? I'm a little low. Uh, all right, that was the 10 minute. That mark, was the 10 minute mark. Yeah. But we got a few minutes. That's like uh, okay. That's. I, I, I have never heard that before. 33. You can get. Say it again. You can get. Married 33 states. 15. You can get married. 15 or 15 under. Oh, okay, okay. I actually with well, parent consent, right? I think I have. Yeah. That. Yeah. I, I don't know about the 33 number, but... You know what, Trevor? You're alive for that one, man. Nah, oh, 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 I, 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 I was waiting for Chris to say it. I was <laughs> waiting for Chris <laughs> to say it. <laughs> I was I trying to convince say. somebody else to say it. I just took a shot. Don't be I was waiting for Chris to say it, but okay. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that was even a thing. I want I want to hear you list all 33 mm. of them. Yeah, yeah nigga. <laughs> yeah, I want to come up short. The cattle of each state, too. Spell it backwards. And that's that's like uh that's like bad baby. That uh real this right? She looked she looked older than what she is. Yeah, at sixteen. I don't give a damn. That little girl's a baby, nigga. Baby baby. They 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 pedophiles. Twelve years old because her mom out on TV. The way she be looking, a lot of niggas be like, "Oh man, what?" And that one rapper, I can uh, I think, uh, I think he's an uh, MMA fighter. He got her DMs and no, oh, was uh, underage or whatever, seventeen, sixteen, and the nigga had no idea supposedly. You okay? You ain't I, okay, okay. I was wrong. Okay. a little bit. It says <laughs> as of June 2020, 40 states have set an absolute minimum marriage age by statute, which varied between 14 and 18. I'm sorry, it was 40 states. Technically, you were, uh, you were still wrong. wrong. So, I'm still wrong, wrong, but that's, that's still so worse. You know, you that paper. Paper. Being right would have been better than being <laughs> you're you're wrong at this point. <laughs> I will take the shot Yeah. because the, I was wrong by the number, but the, the magnitude is still it's sickening. Can we get the list? You're right. It is sickening. Yes. Can we get the list? I just want to know because 40 is a lot. There's only 50. How about you just say the, the states? That would be better. It says recent. It says recent states included this. That don't uh, have Or Idaho, India, and Minnesota, but it's not giving me the previous. Excuse me, previous one. Oh wait, list. Oh, them niggas got like 10 Y's down here. Okay. And where? Idaho. 10 Y's. <laughs> yeah, really. California has zero, I mean, uh, yeah, there's zero tolerance for it. You can't marry under 18 in California. That's why it sounds so weird, though. I was like, what? Yeah, it's yeah. like, you you saying just in the United States, but overseas. I'm saying just in the United States. 13, 14 for a goat, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you like, said, this, Shot, shot, shot. Okay, I'll just, I'll just get a goal. That okay. <laughs> <laughs> he made a good pace right I, there. I think there's still a lot to be unpacked in that topic. Like, I was, topic. It is still a lot to be unpacked in that, but there's a lot. Of I just find it really weird that you can go to jail for marriage. Yeah. For and it's, there's so much. Yeah. But we, we, but we ain't got all day. We ain't going to solve the world's problems. Yeah, that's all for the time, though. We, we may circle. We may be able to circle back to we, that. We can definitely circle back. We can definitely circle back. But in, in the meantime, Moy, what you what you what you kicking? Well, you know, I got the uh, <clears throat> seen this last night. You know, I was bored at work. Ain't nothing to do. I feel you. Mm -hmm. Inmates locked up in their cells. So I seen the uh, Jada, Jada Smith and Will Smith thing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. With uh, August Alcina, man. August Alcina. <laughs> August Alcina. You might look like you sleep with your wife, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And this, but uh, I got a little, little, little uh, family read from a uh, little, little snippet on this, this information. Uh, singer August Alcina claims he had love affair with Jada Pinkett Smith after her husband Will Smith allegedly gave a relationship his blessing. 
So mm -hmm. Will, Will was supposed to be cool with it. I mean, hey, man. Mostly. Would have, <laughs> mostly. But Jada Pinkett Smith, um, her camp said it's not true. Of course, she will say it's not true. Uh, he's been this for years, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He has opened up on uh, up on a alleged affair in an interview with. So August, I see it says on Breakfast Club with the. Wait, 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 wait. For years, he said they've been years. the nine yeah. the uh, oh, years. Yeah. Uh, let me see. He sat down. He said he sat down with Will Smith and Jada, or he sat down with Will Smith and had a conversation about banging his wife. Yeah. Oh <laughs> man! <laughs> this is what August is saying. Man. I'll address that in a minute, but yeah. August was 27 years old. Uh huh. Was when Jaden, the son, introduced uh, August Alcina and. Uh, oh, so much wrong with that. Jaden, huh? <laughs> this is following. Jaden out here, Matt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this, this is what it is. Uh, in Hawaii, they, uh, August Alcina went to a Hawaii trip vacation, went to the BT Awards with him. Uh, he claims that. Uh, Pink and Smith uh, gave herself in a relationship for years. Uh, really deeply loved and have a ton of love for her. I de devoted myself to it. I gave my full self to it so much to the point that I can die right now and be okay with knowing that I truly gave myself. What did Jada Pinkett be doing to these dudes? Right. Damn. Yeah. So Jada's saying that. Miss Pinkett, if you ever find this video. So what what do y'all got? <laughs> this is this is crazy, bro. I know how to keep my mouth shut, Miss Pinkett Smith. Man, man. <laughs> yeah, he must. I mean, he must have got so in his feelings behind it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he must have tried to make her leave Will. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I, he, Will is the most important part to look at this. Like he must be so sick of Jada's bullshit. Yeah, okay, you want to her? Please. Dude, nigga, <laughs> really? Are you guys serious? Will and Jada have an open marriage, nigga. Yeah, they 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 have an open marriage, so they this would not. I don't see that as I don't see that as him as him being sick of her if he was okay with her Hold swinging. On. They, Hold on. They're known swinging. You can call, it, you can call it open, but are they even fucking? Really? Who? August Who? Who? Will and Jada? Will and Jada? Yeah. I mean, they got kids together, so you know oh, they no, are. No, no, no. They, we know what they've done they before. Got kids. Currently, right now, what's their relationship? Are they even having sex together right now? Nigga, none of us would absolutely know that. I know. I'm just saying, I don't think they are. None of us they absolutely know that. All, yeah. I, all I know is, from the beginning of their relationship, as much as they played it out in public, they have been open about being open in their marriage, swinging. Having partners outside of their marriage and both being okay with it, they they like, have, oh, they have. Like you can you a lie? They've been denying. <laughs> they have no, they have not. Right now, <laughs> you a goddamn lie. They have not been open. They've let people speculate. Yeah. Never oh been my open. god. Are you see Lori it. just said that her camp been denying it. Her, and yeah. So August, it, just August. No, they don't be out there like that, bro. At least they don't be out there publicly. I think they do get around on each other, but they don't want the image tarnished. Go ahead, pull up with you. No, no, I know. I've I've watched them talk about it. Honestly, this actually touches on the Will Smith gay sex shit. Oh, oh, there is a story. There's a story that it's a Will Smith smack. You know, he slap niggas that kiss him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, bring it. He looking. Bring it out. Whatever reference you was talking about. What I was talking about. It's a video. Oh, it's all video. Okay. Oh, okay. I mean, I know who. Uh, I, I thought it was just some. I just need some headphones. Sorry, if I wanted to play the audio. If they're in an open relationship, why would Jada be like, Nah, man, I ain't do that. Right? Wouldn't it not matter? Yeah. Why? Well, I, mean, I mean, that's August Alcina, man. He a, he makes his music. He an R&B dude. He gonna be in his feelings. I feel like he this is the first time they brought up the Al August Alcina. I feel like. Years ago, I heard his name attached, attached to her, and they denied it then too. Mm. Yeah. Well, I, 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 yeah, they 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 definitely doing some swinger shit at their house. You think so? They I have. I feel, like mine, I feel like it's not that communal, bro. I don't think it's like. Y'all it, tripping? Y'all tripping? If y'all tripping? Oh. Yeah. I, I can't find anything past this nigga. It's August six. This was popping up. I gotta go older than this. Uh oh, uh oh, that two, that two for two for sure. No, hell no, 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 because nope. I've watched them talk about them having an open marriage. That's why I'm standing so hard on this. Dang, I wanna. I, okay, I, so I, what? Any of y'all niggas be like? 
yeah, man, uh, you, you can do whatever with my, with my wife. I'm, I'm okay with that. Well, any of y'all be on board with doing something like that? Nigga, my, my next relationship still going to have to be either open or poly, so I don't that, care. That attached to to trying to, to hold on to somebody that uh, sexually like that. I think there are people out there like that. Me, personally, I couldn't deal with that. I wouldn't be like, you better get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what is you even at? Why are we even talking? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for real me personally i think uh every every day i learn more and more like like just how you know, sexuality isn't what you were always thought it was it's not so, this this and that yeah so i think eventually I, my freakiness never would have to rise dramatically yeah <laughs> dramatically yeah but i mean if, if for whatever reason me and me and my lady kept going and going and going you could probably get to a point where you're like man we need somebody else to come in here and spice mm-hmm. it up yeah that's true i don't think you know, okay I'm, that's I'm, not, I'm not fair but i'm not yeah i'm not i'll be ready to fight <laughs> spice it up huh yeah, fight somebody out here that's real <laughs> But hey, Maury, man, I, I can't find anything past all August right now. I'm gonna keep searching though. So mm-hmm. I'm not just quiet. It's down to me. I don't know. There should be a time limit to this shit, right? You ain't found yeah. nothing, bro. You gotta take a shot. I was gonna, I was gonna do. No, nah, hell no. I'm not taking a shot because I know that I'm not on this. <laughs> and, and and really, it's supposed to be on y'all to prove that I'm lying according to the rules. But I'm the one looking it up. So. But you haven't found me. nothing. Who are you lying? And you the one that won't. But answer. you guys are supposed all to prove right, right. Here's I'm lying. Got from Newsweek. This guy's some. Um, in 2005, it says rumors circled about them being in open marriage for years. Ah, uh, in 2005, Will said, if it came down to it, then one can say to the other, look, I need to have sex with somebody. I'm not going to if you don't approve, but please approve. And then Jada Pickett says she denies all open uh, marriage rumors. Hmm. Well, they lie. Then says, Will and I both can do whatever we want because we trust each other to do so. This does not mean that we have an open relationship. Mm. That's I mean, technically wrong. wrong. That's mm. I mean, I'll, I'll read that again. This does it's not mean <laughs> that we have an open relationship. What she was, what you were reading, what she said, was did not sound like not an open relationship. Right before you said it's not an open relationship. It's all in the quote. That's news. They literally just said, if we see somebody and we want to have sex with them, we won't do it unless you approve. But I think the words out of Jada Smith's mouth are, that doesn't mean we're in an open relationship. And then I, and then I, I let me keep reading for you. They specifically. Okay, so the, what the fuck is an open relationship? He says uh, that the couple were swingers, but not, not in the open relationship, but they were swingers. If a bitch you can do whatever you want to do, nigga, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. It says they were swingers, but not in a. Bro, that's an open relationship. Swinging is an open relationship. Swing, swinging you is fucking every, every I'm about to different. say, you got to have, if you get one, you got to have the other in swinging, I think. That's yeah, swinging is like a... Exactly. No, it's not. Open is one can go get some and the other probably in bed. Swinging is I get your wife and we kind of... That's what y'all... That's, I mean, that's yours. Swing. Swinging yeah. you know, is open. Is. What? Swinging is open. Oh. And it's open. It sounds like a whole bunch of ways to say we could fuck other people without having an open yeah, relationship. It sounds like a whole lot of ways to say you lost that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it, but did I? But did I? Okay, more based off, of, based okay. off of what you just looked up. He said that they've said they were in an open, that they've claimed they were in an open relationship, and that's wrong. That's really all it is. Take your shot. Take your okay, shot. Or, you, got, you got push-ups, you got push-ups or cash out. Okay. <laughs> you want to pay that money, you can. <laughs> He's He's like, like, whatever. Bro, swinging and open relationship, bro, is damn near the same shit, bro. To me, it's the same thing. Same so thing. Damn near, huh? Damn near the same shit. Damn near, huh? Damn near. Not the same. Right. It's the same. Not the same. You if, I give, if I give my wife permission <laughs> to somebody else, that's not an open fucking relationship. <laughs> the same thing, bro. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and move on with uh, Tesla part two. If y'all saw the last episode, y'all seen the Tesla conversation got a little out of the way. So we're going we gonna to reiterate. Go ahead, Brian. Do your thing. 
Brian, go ahead. You do your thing. <laughs> Brian, it's on you. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Um, I was just trying. I mean, where do you start with that? Um, I guess we can pick off, pick up where we left off, and I can, after looking at all of the the options for Tesla, that you guys' concerns were almost completely unwarranted on like the ability of like travel and long distance and all that stuff. No, there's really no issue. And uh, if you get like a long range Tesla, you can go uh, 300 something uh, miles without charging. So if you're going, wait, without having to recharge? Without yeah. having to recharge. Oh. Okay. And, but you have to get a specific model? And if you're doing a long, uh, if you're doing a long distance trip, the way that that works is you're going to be stopping at power stations and uh -huh. those are 40, 40 minutes max to get to a full battery, 30 minutes for 80% or something like that. And honestly, I don't think that that's really, I mean, if somebody was going to pay you $20 to take a 30 minute break during your drive, you would do it. Like, you know what I mean? And, uh, and then you get back on the road. Like there is no reason not to have a Tesla except you can't afford it. That's what, that, that would really be it. <coughs> I would still think that not having, like you said, in Bakersfield, we don't see a whole lot of charging stations. I should look at that. Are there any in this town? Like, I, I still there don't are. see it being that convenient. I, I would love there are. to there's be. One, there's one like a couple minutes from my house. It's across the street from the police station. Just as its own little thing? I don't think it's a Tesla charger, but it charges electric I'm just, cars. I would hope they would just do all electric cars. I hope I they wouldn't be I don't specific know to the... I'm not sure how... I'm just... I don't know. Because that would go against the convenience thing, too. Yeah, I don't know if the sockets are the same or not. That's somewhere I don't know if that's the sockets are the same, but I know that Tesla has stations, Tesla stations specifically, like 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 basically everywhere not in remote 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 areas which you wouldn't really go to commonly anyway but you never know you never know you never know, you never know. you could take it have to take a different route well that's the thing reason. like if you like go into the mountains or something like that you ain't gonna find a fucking tesla station and that's the inconvenience of it so you so at that point at this point right now i mean you're looking for that to poke a hole in it. I okay, I can't just randomly drive to the mountains without knowing that there's a, a Tesla charger there. Rent a car for that one time. <laughs> for real. You would have to keep that into a case if that was your you route. Would, but you would. I'm just saying, if you had a Tesla, you would have to uh, You would have to weigh in on all that stuff, you know? Even if I got Tesla but, right now with the money I have and whatever, I'd still have to, like, make sure I knew. I don't know where, I, if there is a spot to that's charge a, that's around a feature, this area. That's a feature of the car. That shows you where to charge? Yeah, that's a feature of the car. And that's nice, but it still could be miles away. I mean, it's not the most. I would be for it. It probably if, won't if be. It was if you're in town, it probably I'd won't be, be miles away. If you're in town, it probably won't be miles away. It might be like a couple miles away, or it might not even be a mile. It won't be away. miles away, but miles away. It won't be like real miles away. Mm -hmm. Like we ain't talking. You got to drive 20 minutes to go find a Tesla charger. I would hope. I don't think. But I wouldn't know. Until I don't think in a city situation that's common. I don't think that's common at all. But, but uh, if you at a, at a at a charging station for forty minutes, for you need a full charge. Thank you, Maury. Thank you. I was if wondering you, if anybody's gonna catch it. If I'm going to Vegas, I do not want to sit at no Tesla station for no forty uh, to an hour, bro. I'm not Thank going to have to go full. That was my whole point last conversation. I do not want to do that. So oh, that was my whole point last conversation. Thank, Thank you. Bro. You would spend thirty dollars because you didn't want to wait for a half hour. Yes. Wait, you think and charging stations gonna stay people. free? You they think charging not. stations gonna stay free? They're not. Oh hell no. Hell no. I don't no. think they're free right now, but I think that they're like ridiculously cheap. You're making a lot of assumptions, but my point is still remains. Maury just said it so perfectly clear. That was my whole point from the last one. It don't. It won't take me forty minutes to put, put my gas. Put, put, take the gas. It's it, it's Ooh. like. Having a Tesla might be more work than having a regular ass car. How's that? How is that? Please, please go ahead and tell me how it's more work. Stations. There's gas stations all over the place. You gotta find a charging station. You gotta wait a forty <laughs> minutes to an hour to charge your shit when you can be in Vegas popping bottles. You talking about the where you wanna be doing situation? How often are you? How often are you going to burn three hundred miles on? Stop your trying to make excuses. <laughs> Sherman, stop. How often are you going to burn 300 miles on your car? I'm just saying, whenever you want to go to SD, 
Nigga, you interrupted me. I was talking. What is he talking about making excuses? We're talking about the the feasibility of a Tesla, and you over here talking about I'm making excuses. I'm bringing in all aspects of the argument. Anyway, 300 miles. How often do you drive 300 miles in one day? Not one day. Maury's not the right one to ask that question. Yeah, not not one day. I'm asking everybody. I'm asking everybody. Not one day, but you don't. You don't. You would have to charge your car that day. You leave your house if. If you don't, if you feel like you shouldn't have to plug your car in at your house, or then this car is not for you. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I ain't getting no Tesla. No like I don't have a problem plugging this car in at home. I would definitely. That's fine. I would definitely. That, 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 I'll plug in my neighbor's uh, house outlet. You ain't gotta go to the gas station no more. I'd be totally for that. Really? Yeah. Go ahead, ah. go raise your hand. <laughs> go ahead, that bro. way it could be no confusion of these people over here. <laughs> now, my whole point last time was exactly what you just said. You, you take about 40 minutes of like, thank, oh, that's great, that's fine and dandy. It won't take me 40 minutes to put gas in my tank and be on the way. And that was my whole point. Everything else you said may be true, but it's irrelevant to the point of the last conversation. That's all I'm saying. Okay. All right, well, then I guess the co- the question comes up, it's more convenient for you, but what about the climate? Talking about like the world and shit? Like the climate whole change, thing? yeah. Climate change and shit. Yeah, I mean, for the climate, it's good, yeah. Have a electric car, yeah, man, it's all fine, that. But nigga, them cars is hella $80,000, $100,000, I've seen. dollars dollars from the Tesla, bro. Can't, a lot of these can't afford that shit, bro. For and sure. let's not pretend that I mean, and let's not pretend the materials and making this shit still don't take an effect on the on the environment. Yeah, but the only everybody, not every person in the world also. who drives wouldn't be contributing. It would just be them. The the, t- the tested buyers. Yeah, I, I'm down for. We need to get off oil. We should have been off oil a long time ago. We should have been off oil a long time ago. Well, that's what I'm saying. My whole point is that Tesla should be the thing that everybody's investing in because we should we should already be here with battery technology. We shouldn't already we shouldn't even be worried about this shit like you guys are. Like you saying, hey, that's really you know that's majorly inconvenient. Yeah, but I mean that's a huge step in that direction to where it's just like this can be everyday life. You can sit here and complain, I don't want to be at the, the station for 30 minutes, but 30 minutes is nothing anyway. That's just a person being impatient or not wanting to take that extra time out. And that's, I mean, that's the thing with people. People are like that, and that's understandable. You can shake, yeah, you can shake your head. I'm sitting here. I get where you're coming from. <laughs> I get where you're coming from. But I don't think gas is that worth it. I don't think 30 minutes is that worth it that you need to jump, dump gallons and gallons into the so if you had the choice to stop doing that, you shouldn't be dumping gallons and gallons of gas into the atmosphere. Hey, what, 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 that changes the whole that changes the whole question from a question of 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 uh, convenience then to morality. This so, was about energy. This was about energy. This is why Tesla came up. Yeah, but the, the conversation got to this was off of convenience. Yeah, and it was you like, said yeah, it would not be more convenient. But I think the Tesla. bigger issue is accessibility more than anything like it's not easily accessible to everyone like if you ain't a certain tax bracket tax bracket you ain't worried about tesla anyway you know you, you ain't got access to that kind of problem i can't buy one you know so I, can't buy me either. I think that's the issue here yeah like how come i can't even rent one no like electric cars are more accessible <laughs> can't even rent, you couldn't even test drive one <laughs> yeah i couldn't even test drive one they bought them out <laughs> okay i got one question though okay you going somewhere whatever what if <laughs> The charging station is packed into the motherfucker. You gotta wait. That's something too. You know, Forty minutes. You gotta wait another. It's <laughs> a charging motherfucking car, bro. And that goes back to accessibility, and that makes the petroleum company seem like the way to go, right? Like, oh, it's so much easier. Cause look at them over there waiting over in line. Just come over here and get the get the gas. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Well. Uh. Well. Okay. That that may be. I gotta throw this in there though. That's the I'm convenience here. argument. Okay, but the thing is, okay, you got this big ass screen, and it's not just navigation. If you wait in thirty minutes, there's Netflix. You got games. Yeah, I was gonna say there's, that too. Thirty minutes is a is there. A, <laughs> there's no for real. It's, no, it's just no. You got beat. You got, uh, you can make beat. <laughs> yeah, we do your whole little roll up, watch a show, and and. <laughs> Why right in the middle of your road trip, man? It'd be Gucci. Don't tell me it wouldn't be Sherman, you sitting there upset you had to wait. Sherman and Morgan, watch, watch video reviews on the Teslas and then tell me that you don't like the car. 
That's one thing. I, I love the car. Like, why, yeah, are you, why are you no, okay. putting words in my mouth? No, no, I'm not I like the car. <laughs> I never said I didn't like the car. You I just said it would be convenient. I didn't say that. I said, tell me you don't like the car. That's all I said. Anyway, all I'm saying is that that's my argument for the 30 minutes. Like, it, let's say, let's give the charge 30 minutes. It doesn't have to be 40 minutes. You telling me 30 minutes too much? Even at the house is it 30 minutes? Can I throw that in there? No, at the house. You have two options. You have two options. So at the house, it's going to be a slower charge because it's. Why did you? I'm yeah, you have a. They have two things. They have a connector that you can plug to a regular uh, outlet wow. and then plug in your car. That's slower. That's slower. But that's honestly, I mean. if your car is at home, you're probably going to be at home for hours, and that's okay. But um, out and about, those are superchargers, and you can also have those installed at home. But and that does cost that does cost money. Owning a Tesla in initially would be expensive. You wouldn't start saving the money, but you get like thousands back just for driving one. Like the you, I believe you get paid for no emissions or whatever. You get thousands. Don't believe this nigga. You lie. 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 me up there, nigga. I had never heard that either. I'm like, what are you thousands? Thousands to drive. Yeah. Hey, man, shit, nigga. I'm gonna. I mean, but really, if you, I think they look, they look nice enough. I mean, if you got the money, I'd rather see somebody go get a Tesla than a Lamborghini. Or right. Just, you know, but thousands, yeah. nigga. Why you didn't lead with that? <laughs> are you, are you gonna, you wait an hour at the gas station, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing was about money for me. The whole, the, whole thing was about money. the whole thing from the get go was about money, and we both saw two different things. I saw the benefits. Of owning a Tesla, and you guys saw the hassle of having to get a Tesla. But they both oh. exist. They both exist. They do. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. But the reason the conversation got to here was because it came up a question of convenience. It and is convenient. Are all I think that's this convenient. I think it's hella convenient. I never have to stop at a gas station again. Would be happy. Do y'all like going to the gas station or something like here? Yeah, no. Like, it's like everything. That's not. Like, that's that's not, not what we said. Nobody that's said I love going, going to the gas station. Car up with this thing that I'm gonna burn off. I hate that idea. I hate Nobody it. said I love going to the gas station. That's the best part that's of driving. Nobody said that. We just said it would be more convenient to stop for a few minutes and pump my gas and leave than wait 30 to 45 minutes to charge but my you're car. Saying that Here, that's point blank. You're saying Everything that else has nothing to do with that point. Yeah. Okay, where do you prioritize, prioritize that convenience then? I just described it. Where do you prioritize The it? convenience of pulling over time. and leaving in five minutes <laughs> as opposed to waiting 30 to 45 minutes. Maury sounds like he's prioritizing that as number one. Is that also your number one priority? How fast I gotta, uh, I can fill up my tank? How fast my fuel recharges? If you go no, to, to a gas station, you can get your your swishes, your, your, your mixed drink stuff. <laughs> you <can get> your <laughs> anyway, though. At a, at a Tesla, but like you can't get none of that shit. So we can a gas station is a ritual for you. It's a whole, you gotta say hi to the community. Nah, he got a legit point though. He got a legit point. Give a dollar to the homeless man. There you go, John. Oh, you get a thousand dollars. In California, two thousand dollar rebate for Tesla Model Three and Model Y. Two thousand dollar rebate, like monthly. When I think it's just a one-time thing for having it, like you buy it. You know, so you get two thousand dollars. Kind of Tesla's in your plans. You can just make money. Nah, you yeah. lost that one, Brian. Take it, your shot. You lost it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's on me then. Pay thousands of dollars to drive, boy. Nigga, that's a rebate. It's way different than what you meant when you said that. Wait, what did he say originally? I already forgot. Yeah, I got a bad. He said you money. get paid thousands of dollars for driving one. Yeah. That was thousands. That's, that's a rebate. That's giving you your money back. <laughs> that's a rebate. But that's from the government, though. That's my money. I don't care. It's not paying me to drive it. You give me my money back. For ten dollars or something. Pay the punishment. It's a rebate. It's, not, it's been a petty ass episode. Oh yeah, it's a rebate. Hold on, I'm gonna take this all the way down to the fucking nitty gritty. We are gonna go all the way down to. <laughs> you gonna take your shot, nigga? Just uh, take. Thank you. Just I take will. your punishment. Yes, I will. Can I get the rebate definition in? A partial refund to someone who has paid too much money for tax, rent, or utility. Okay. What does refund mean? I have to find what I'm talking about. 
<laughs> we don't refund me. <laughs> That's your money. Refund means give you back your money. <laughs> refund it usually oh, means it was yours incentives. to start with. Incentives. Either way. Hold on, the, hold, on what, hold on. Look, I'm just trying. I'm trying to find what I was talking about. Okay. If okay. It's kind of re if, the, okay. if it's a rebate, then it's a rebate. But I just want to okay. make sure. So there are state incentives. Uh huh. You get dollars. Okay. Yeah, these are state incentives. Uh -huh. they get though. So in Arizona, Arizona uh, reduced vehicle license tax in carpool lane. In California, two thousand dollar rebate for particular Teslas. But that's from California. That's not from. But the pay, the state is still paying you, right? Like you're not getting a rebate in Arizona. Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes. What you say, Mark? We're going off of California regulations and rules. We're not going off of Arizona and none of We're going off of Cali. We live in Cali. Nigga, Brian said you can pay thousands of dollars to drive a Tesla. You're getting money from the state. You're getting a rebate from the state government, but you bought the car from who? Who'd you buy it from? So the government's paying. took a shot. Right? The tax, tax. Yeah. I, di I didn't say <laughs> I didn't say that it didn't have to be a rebate. The government's paying you, aren't they? You think it's Sherman froze. Yeah, Sherman froze up. Good, because he's <laughs> he looked like he was about to be on one. Like he he was to stop. Did, you, did he pause? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, uh, is this him? So you uh, you want me to take my shot? What, 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 what are we doing? What are we landing on that? You 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 accused. You him. know what? It's okay. Sherman really wants me to take a shot. He get all in one A. I was wrong on this one, Sherman. There you go. I was wrong. Sherman, he was wrong. I, I wasn't. I was wrong. wrong. Uh, uh, Brian was wrong. Yeah, yeah, Brian was wrong. Period on that. You lied. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> he poured up. He poured up. I, well, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys saw because my my connection dropped for a second. Yeah, yep. you uh, you uh, I don't know what that was. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, you I don't going, know what that was either. Going to Vegas, and I saw up in Barstow, nigga. I got ten cars ahead of me, nigga. I'm not Boy, trying to you no know, ten. I, I know you. You are not leaving your house without your car on full for a Vegas trip. That's true, but nigga, then <laughs> again, you never know what might be happening during the day. I know you. Use the most punctual. Nigga, I know. Like you gonna have your shit ready. Yeah, like, but you I guys are find out. Nigga. Hey, we also no. been very us specific in these topics. Think about society, nigga. We all run on that 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 popcorn microwave shit. The faster I can get on and get out is better for most of society. Yeah. It would ideally thirty minutes wouldn't mean shit, and everybody could take their time getting to where they need to go. Ideally, yes, in a perfect world. But the world we live in, nigga. That's where I'm coming from. That's why I was laughing when Brian was describing society as it is. I, I think we can look at the That's not an excuse to like say that this is the right way. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> not what we said either. We just said that in this tough society, convenient wise, it would be more convenient to just pump and go. Okay. I disagree. I How disagree. can you argue that? I disagree. What What do you mean? How do you argue that? What are you talking about? Never have to disagree. Spend <laughs> money at the gas station again. How is it more convenient to have to wait? Because to the refuel. Experience is not having to wait. You don't have to do that. Yeah. You don't. You don't have to do that. If you make that inconvenience for yourself, that's different. The inconvenience literally would be. If you were going somewhere where they didn't have charging stations, and that's not a normal thing, is it not an inconvenience? No. I mean, if you're talking about a future where everybody has a Tesla and charging stations everywhere, then your point there is are valid charging as fuck. Stations. You, you well, we're not there yet. Map? You know what? Let me give you. Let, hold on, hold on, man. I mean, you over here. <laughs> this is all metaphorical for you. When I've seen how many charging stations they have, so just give me a minute here. I all haven't right? seen it. That's for sure. Like the nigga sitting next to you talking about, he hasn't seen it like that. You're still trying to point me. Have like, why are you trying to me, Brian? Right? What is have up with this? Up? Have you guys looked up? Got hella animosity towards me this episode. And look, look, 
America, I want y'all. Look, America, I want y'all to pay attention to the level of animosity that they can throw my way. Because you go real hard at the stuff that I say. I don't know if you notice. Everybody else can talk about this stuff to me, but every time I'm talking about something with you, you have to really, really pin down something I'm saying. So me and you is clashing a little bit. That's fine with me. I don't care. I'll sit here all damn day. I'm I'm just calling it out. Y'all do that though. Y'all yeah. done this. This yeah. ain't new. This ain't new. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pulling up this charging station map because yo, because I just know you have this image of what how 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 they how many. I'm really are. surprised that so you don't I'm see just giving more. you. I'm just uh, Sherman. I'm really surprised you don't see more out there in the bay. Yeah, I, do, I see more than I have seen in Bakersfield for sure. Sure, but not at the level of gas stations. No. Well, yeah, well, and then that goes back to the support and accessibility. <laughs> Big Patrolman ain't, ain't trying to lose no money. Why would I give you the, my space to put in freaking uh, electricity charge? Why would I do that? Like, it don't make no sense on their end. Like, that's the, that's the biggest problem. Accessibility. Well, that, that. That's it, true, yeah. and I don't disagree. I agree. If you take out all the gas stations and put charging stations, bro, you're going to be waiting every single time you go to the pump. <laughs> no, why would you? Why won't you think they charge it at home? Well, then what would you need public? What would you need public charging stations for then? The same reason everybody charge their shit at home. <laughs> for the moments when you need to recharge. The moments when you need to recharge. That's because what he's talking about. In between. The moments you need to recharge. I don't think everybody would have those kind of moments where it would be packed all the time. Sherman, would you take? Would you accept a gas Look, reservoir at your house where you we always know in the morning before you left? You said what? It, would you accept? A gas reservoir at your house where you can always fill up on gas before you left. Would you accept that? I'm an environmentalist. Fuck no, I wouldn't. That's why I hate that you be trying to play me like I'm for fucking fossil fuels and shit. No, man, you're you a damn lie. You wouldn't accept that. that. <laughs> you wouldn't accept that because what? It, because at, get, with gas. Wait, what? Get gas. What? <laughs> I dare you when he had to try to deny out. What? Wait, what? What'd you say? <laughs> I don't know. What'd you say? I said that was <laughs> ironic as hell. Like you having this whole argument for the, which seems to be on the gas side, and then at the end you're gonna be like, "Well, I'm not." I'm not on the gas. That's why I keep trying to get you guys to understand. I'm not on the gas side. I understand completely where you're coming from, and all those points are very good. Was that I personally agree with? But it's just on the convenience the tip of, of having to stop and did, charge there's, or there's pump and go. Did you come down on the side of Tesla is convenient or inconvenient? Which one did you come down on the side of? In today's society, inconvenient. Inter there's not charging stations oh, everywhere. There's a wait time. You don't know. There's a lot of things that go into to make it inconvenient for me. Yeah. I'm more, I'm, I'm more comfortable renting a gas fuel car and jumping on the freeway and going long distance than renting a Tesla and jumping on the freeway and going long distance. That's true. Okay. Yeah, today, if I would, I would be better. I would feel like if I owned a Tesla, renting it one thing to make to make a road trip. Okay, but if I owned one, I feel like I'd never be at a gas station again, ever. But you won't be. You probably won't be. Ever. You wouldn't need to be. Yeah, when exactly. you got Tesla, you don't. How is that not more convenient in today's society? You just swap in one station for another. Which would be my, will be my house where I'm already at, like right now. Shit could be charged. Yeah, that's it. as long as you don't never need to charge while you're out and about. And it's the, the, the inconvenience <laughs> isn't the Tesla; it's whatever happened that made you not charge. So that's that's what makes being fully electric a limited thing. I was getting some cutty last night, and you ain't plugged it in. <laughs> that's on you. <laughs> he got a dead bomb <laughs> again. <laughs> you would charge your your, but, your car at your your spot every night. That's what you're saying. Every but let me just it. clear this up, though. I am what not for charging stations. I'm right. not for big oil or fossil fuel. Look like the Bison map for America. That's a lot, but how many in Bakersfield though? Chris, said he ain't seen shit. I ain't, I ain't. But at, to my credit, I'm not checking for him either. I mean, so by by that, your electric bill will go through. I be having regular old gas. The thing is, long Brian, period. all that was unnecessary, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of charging, man. You talking? It is a lot of charging. Right it is. Okay. 
everything looks like a lot when you when you bunch it all up on a little ass map. <laughs> like an excuse to me, <laughs> nigga. Like hey, put that shit side by side with the gas station map, nigga. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that shit looks like somebody colored in the states. Yeah, like, okay, maybe it's not that, states, that wasn't the point. The point isn't that there aren't a lot of gas stations. The point is that there are way more charging stations than you think there are. Did you think there were that I many? I didn't accept that. I didn't think that was You bad. didn't think there were that many? I didn't accept that. That's what I just wanted to show you. So, I accept that. Yeah. The, so that was all I wanted to show you with that, was that that's not implausible, right, Maury, who was worried about long distance? Yeah, that was a lot of reds on there. There was a lot of them on there. I would. It's yeah, not I, I, it. I, right I stand now, by my statement, though. Minutes. Everything looks like a lot when you bunch it all up. That was everyone in the country. That's understandable. It looked like a lot at the bottom of the country. <laughs> what? But out, I don't think it would look like that much. In the Midwest, there weren't a lot in the Midwest. Y'all plan on going to the Midwest? Yeah, in that Montana area, looking real uh, yellow. Montana. Okay. Hey, hold on, let me. Yeah, sorry, let me click on it one more time. Make it bigger. <laughs> don't zoom in though. Yeah, screenshot that too. <laughs> don't zoom in. You have to scroll to find the next one. <laughs> hold on, hold on, man. I'm so going to, if you charge the call at the house, Chris. Full image, I believe. What's that one? You, you charge your, your car at your house, that white nigga that lived downstairs is gonna pull that motherfucker from your car, man. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah. There's security for that. Security for what? Like America got chicken pox. For anything that, uh, I mean, this is like Tesla features we would be talking about at this point, but yeah. Um, it's like a smartphone car. Like, uh, it has cameras, so you can set it on sentry mode. And if people is around your car or talking next to your car or stuff like that, it picks it up uh, and all, all that crap like that. Like, are you yes. talking about still in the car? You guys legitimately brought this up, and I do have an answer. Nobody can pull the plug out of your car if they don't have the key or the or signed in on your phone into the app. Nobody can unplug the car. It has a lock on that. You got to use a key to unplug Maury, I see you thinking about it. But I see you. <laughs> you got to use a key to unplug the lock? You sound really yeah. sure about this. But it's, but it's so it's so technology that it's not like I got to go it's and press the button and open my thing. Sure. It's like you can put your, your phone next to You can uh, open it with an app so it'll pop open. And that's how it's supposed to do it. And there are there are contingencies for that if it doesn't work. So that's a, a thing. And then... Um, and where was I? So I, I'm just trying to I'm trying to remember because I kind of got off. <laughs> Long as 15 minutes too, can, by the way. Yeah, we don't we don't we don't we don't surpass. Yeah, we're past it. I figured we were at the end and we can just we was just blabbering about whatever we wanted at this point. <laughs> I just yeah, wanted to put it out for the <laughs> listeners who might be thinking that. Just look, think about this when people this video. You know what I mean? Like it, it's actually insane how practical this car is. Also, it goes. You wouldn't uh, under you, it has as much power as a regular car. It can go it's, zero to six. You saw, you saw, yeah. yeah. Good, good, good videos. Like, like it's a good car. There's a reason that it costs yeah. as much as it do. But I think it's the future of vehicles because of how incredibly practical the whole car is from top to bottom. You know, from left to right, everything that they did about the car was all about practicality, and that and yeah. that was what I want out of that. And like, and the car just has extra shit that you just. You wouldn't even expect the car to fucking have. What? Like, um, wings that float. It doesn't have buttons. Microwave? It doesn't have buttons. There's no gas pedal, right? Like, there's a pedal, but it's not a gas pedal because there's no fucking gas in the car. So, what do you call it now? Acceleration pedal? Um, look at bumper cars don't take gas. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Yes. That's not a good name. We got to think about this stuff. The ass pedal. <laughs> I'm all for Teslas. And as soon as they become affordable to the common man, I will be able to, to get one and be happy as fuck with my Tesla. I think I'm going to work. I, I still I'm, feel like we should have been I'm flying like, cars yeah, by I'm, now, but I'm, that's I'm, neither here nor there. So, like I think I'll, that's so it's kind of like a, a crossword. How, how does it, so a demand for them need to go up. Demand can't go up unless, you know, price of them go down. Yeah. Price yeah. of them can't go down unless they make more money. I think they are planning on dramatically dropping the prices for Tesla. Now, but do I lose quality? The minute they do that, they're going to take over the world. But do I lose quality? What makes it so good is the quality that they produce. 300,000 low budget 300,000 to 500,000 miles guaranteed. I don't want a low budget Tesla, though. I don't want a $17,000 Tesla. Like, you know, <laughs> else that, that would weigh Tesla. When we, Tesla. I think by the time we will have gotten to that point, if there are seventeen thousand dollar Teslas, that means that they got the model down packed, right? 
Like they're not making. Or they're giving us all the rejects. They're so there. right now. They're it, you're right. There's a lot of money in it, and so what they have right now is good product, but it's rare right mm-hmm. now. It's going to become common. How, what do you think is going to happen to all these these new Teslas that people are buying right now? They become used. People pick that shit up, and all of a sudden, Tesla is the best thing you ever got. You know, if there's not a scenario in three years where or there's going to be a scenario in three years where you can look for a used Tesla if you want that's in good condition and has is available for warranties and all that stuff. Um, and it'll just be a thing because people already own their Teslas. Those people is going to do what people do when they buy new cars. They're going to drop that car. They're going to trade up because that's what people normally do in that particular economy. So even well taken care of older Teslas are going to filter down. It's not going to take a lot of time, man. This is, I honestly can tell you guys, I'll guarantee it right here. Like if we still doing this podcast years later, I can guarantee that if things continue on and the world doesn't end, that these fucking electric, <laughs> <laughs> these electric cars, <laughs> these electric cars are going to be the shit that that's moving on the ground. Um, we're going to have to interweave it with gas. It, with it, it sounds good. Is Sherman Sh- 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 frozen? I don't know. It's sad. It, are you sure? Sherman, you with us? Nah, I think, nah, I think we lost him. But it, 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 it sounds good, but I, I don't see how we, we get there without like some kind of drastic shift. It's going to do the same thing. It's, it's going to be this car is going to be like the iPhone. That's exactly how it's going to be. Taking over for regular phones is what you mean? Gonna take over, it, like nobody even uses a fucking landline. That's what you mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that's how practical cell phones were. That it got rid of the house phone. Yeah. You know, there's still people in the world that believe you need a house phone, but you don't. Exactly. So mm-hmm. I, I, I guess my it's the it's the timeline that's yeah. I don't, I don't see it in three years, but I would say okay, three years. If that's too much for you, I would say in the next decade. Decade. I, I mean, what do you think, what's happened in the last 10 years? Like, the thing that you didn't think was going to take off boomed way before you even knew it was I a say thing. Amazon in the last 10 years was like, well, what? Yeah, Amazon, well, what? like, I don't, I still, textbooks when they first started. I still don't really use Amazon. I mean, they, they are on the book side of stuff, like, but that's not really, it. well, I guess that's kind of a common market. It's not that common. That's where it started, was textbooks. But they're on the book side of stuff, them. but I don't use them for, I don't order I, order stuff up I, I may have ordered a couple of things just by default. Very convenient. You know, I mean, yeah, that, <laughs> oh, shoot. I still get to say something. I just want to say up. bye to niggas. Yeah, wrap us up, man. Touch on the topic. Uh, wrap us up. Give us a song. Oh, I don't even remember all the t- topics, man. Come on, five head. But, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say, yeah, thanks for joining us. It's your favorite fire, sir. DK Sermon. You already know. We touched on a few things. Some things was heavy, like pedophilia and climate change. <laughs> things was fun, like football. Mm. Freaking, uh, what, what was the other one? Will and Jada. <laughs> mm. Will and Jada. Well, that, yeah, that was, anyway. Yeah, so we hope y'all enjoyed us, man. I hope y'all continue to give us a, you know, a little listen every once in a while. We still figuring stuff out, but, yes. yeah. We're working these I ain't got nothing else to say. Uh, you will like 661 at gmail.com. Get at us. At the very least. Check us um, out on the audio version, you will mm-hmm. Check us out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll be on all of the, the platforms here soon. Spotify. Yeah, we, I believe we'll, we'll be on, uh, on Heart. We'll be on, check for us on Apple sooner than later. Check mm-hmm. for us on Google. So we'll, we'll be out there. Mm-hmm. IG. Snap. Oh, that. Yes, yes. Yep. And then in the near future, too. Until then, y'all. All right, y'all. Love y'all, man. All right, y'all. Y'all be safe out there.